George Webb here at uh, West Palm Beach Court. I think they're waiting for the government or the president's attorney to make a speech. Uh, trustee did a good job. Did a good job. Uh, Mr. Brad for the prosecution, D DOJ, uh, really good job. Both sides advocated well. Equity powers of the court uh, was the jurisdiction that uh, came up today. And talk to us about, the Judge Cannon said, talk to me about irreparable harm. Talk to me about no remedies at law. There was quite a bit of discussion about executive privilege. We found out how many documents there were. There's 540 or 20 pages. Uh, there's 64 sets of documents uh, that have been characterized here. So uh, they said about 100 of those could potentially, the filter team who uh, uh, worked directly for Mr. Bratt, thought that was interesting. That was made, a trustee said, hey, of all the people you could choose for a filter team, you chose somebody who was your deputy. So it didn't seem like an arm's length uh, filter team, but it, there was about 100 documents that could be considered under attorney uh, client privilege, and then potentially uh, more uh, documents under executive privilege. Uh, the Presidential Records Act trustee mentioned that it could be a 12 year cycle, a 12 year negotiation about what belongs to NARA, the re archives, and what belongs to the president. So. Uh, Obama took 33 million documents. Of course, the Hillary Clinton emails everyone you know thinks about. So there's a lot of leeway here. This process has never been politicized or, or criminalized before, and that's the point that trustee made. 